Hi, I'm Karen Quinn, the testing mom. Do you remember how your child learned language just by being surrounded by it from infancy on? You never needed to take your little one to English classes. You just talked to him and he absorbed language and grammar and, and soon he had language. It turns out that our brains are wired in a very similar way to learn math. The best way to help your child master mathematical concepts is to let them discover them for themselves through language, play, and hands-on experience. Before children can add and subtract, they need to be able to count. Singing counting songs like Five Little Monkeys is a wonderful way to introduce your child to the idea of what one is and what two is and on and on. You can't go wrong by counting everything. When you're playing ball with your child, count each time the ball bounces. When your child jumps rope, count how many times she jumps. When your child is brushing her hair, count the brush strokes. When you give your child a snack of Cheerios, count them out for her. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you just ate two, you have three left. When your child needs more covers at night, count them out. Are you cold? Here's one blanket. Now here's two blankets, three blankets. Wait, are you too hot now? Let's take one away and you'll have two blankets left. By counting things with your child all the time and adding more or taking things away, your child will naturally pick up on what one really means, what two really is, how to count, and eventually how to add and subtract. As you might imagine, understanding basic math principles is important for kindergarten testing and readiness. Mathematical abilities such as counting, addition, and relativity are commonly measured on intelligence tests. Let me show you how a child might be tested on these common math concepts. In this first question, which is a counting question, a child might be asked, point to the box that shows five popsicles. The second box is the answer. Now let's look at an addition question. Here, a child would be asked, if Mary had the number of apples that you see in the first box, and Billy had two more apples, point to the box that shows how many apples Billy had. The answer is the second box over the bubble. Children are also asked about relativity concepts. Here the question is, which of these is the tallest? And of course the flagpole is the tallest, so that would be the answer. Anytime you can, talk to your child about mathematical relativity concepts such as tall, short, big, little, heavy, light, same, different, equal, more, less, and so on. This is something you can do when you're just out walking and you see buildings. For example, which is the tallest? Which is the shortest? If your child is interviewing for placement in kindergarten or just being assessed for kindergarten readiness, she's likely to be given some kind of manipulative and asked to count them. Or she might be shown two piles of manipulatives and asked which one has more or less. In your child's early years, make sure that you talk about mathematical concepts in the course of everyday life as much as you can. Play games that involve math and sing songs that have math. Remember, children absorb math the same way they absorb language. I'm Karen Quinn, the testing mom, preparing your child for all of life's tests.